All right, I got a 1997 uh, Ford F-150. Uh, this one has an odometer issue. It's not rolling over and uh, the speedometer is working, but the odometer is not counting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulled out. Um, it's fairly simple to pull out. You just uh, pull out this bezel right here, uh, pull that out, pull the three screws up here and then there's one screw behind the headlight switch you got to pull that out and uh, once that's out i'll uh, i guess once i have it apart i'll show you all right so this is probably where most people are going to struggle is with this headlight switch uh, as you can see the screw is right back there so easiest way to do this is to just pull this thing back a little bit and as you can see there's a little clip in there and it's spring-loaded so just push on it with a tool like this and just pry it forward never broke one of these and it works every time so all right, so I got the top three screws removed. I got these two removed, no need to remove that one. And this one, and that one of course. And I always start right here, just pull it back, and then just work it off. Once that's done, you got four screws around the cluster. They're all seven millimeter screws. And, and mine is, this is a manual truck, as you can see. So there is no shift indicator, which makes this job a whole lot easier because it can be tricky to pull it down without, uh, without too much trouble. So I'm gonna pull these four screws out and get this cluster out of there. All right, I got the cluster on the bench. And uh, typically, this is what fails on the cluster. It's a little gear that drives the odometer and uh, it falls apart from the, from the lubrication that they use on it. I guess it break, breaks down the plastic that they used. So uh, hopefully that's it. Customer stated that he pushed the trip odometer or trip reset button and uh, the odometer quit reading. So to take this cluster apart, you need a T15 torque uh, to get all the torque uh, screws around the cluster. Let's get into it. And there's also six screws on the back. I already got these four removed. There's two more here. All right, so um, now that we got it loose, you gotta twist out this motor. And to do that, you can't just forcefully do it because it will break these tabs. I've had it before. Uh, so you have to pry this one up and then twist it a little bit and then pry the other one up. It's inside here. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. Uh, oh shoot. All right, 
good. Let's pull it up. Okay, I don't want to break this trip button. So I think I'm going to try to insert it like that. And try to get it, get the motor removed. I got the one loose and the second one. All right, as you can see, well, as you can see, that worm gear is completely broken. You can see the broken piece inside there. So I'm going to get it pulled out and replace it. Leave a little gap right there, that way it doesn't rub. And uh, we also had instances where this motor would be bad. Just kind of feel it. You could feel if it's bad, it'll be really stiff. Uh, this one feels good. You could you could feel the resistance from the magnets. So. I just place it in. Make sure it's in the right spot and carefully twist it. I don't want to break it, so I'd rather lift up the pins a little bit. When tightening them down, don't just send it, especially if you're using an impact. Just carefully snug them up. All right, and don't forget to reinsert the ribbon. It's kind of tricky. push down on the tab and that basically puts pressure onto the contact there it is that's all it takes to repair the odometer I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it into the car and test drive it As you can 
can see it's moving the trip trip counter is counting we can test these on the bench uh, with a speed sensor uh, signal generator but since we have the vehicle here we might as well pop it in the car and make sure it's working We do offer this service on our website, uh, but I mean, as you can see, it is an easy fix. So, uh, if you want to order the gear from us, uh, you can. I'll have a description, or I'll have a link to our website in the description, so you could buy the gear or the service, whichever you'd prefer. Uh, so, I'll. I guess I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.